<laughs> Minecraft, little buggers. Welcome back to my messy apartment. I know I'm really close up right now, but that's because I've set up this camera for another angle and another view. And uh, I'm doing a very special episode today. It's a patron special. Uh, if you are following me on my Instagram page, you know that I have uh, made laser cut dice box uh, for my patron Dragonakas, and I did it with uh, help from my good friend from Gilda Craftworks. And today I'm gonna assemble it, paint it, customize it, and send it away to Dragonakas. Anyways, enjoy, guys. I'm gonna set up this camera right now. And here it is. All right, so this is the deal. I've uh, prepared everything that I need. Uh, this is the bottom and this is the lid, the top. Pretty much everything else from now on is gonna be fast forwarded, one big fast forward. I'm going to assemble this and glue it with some PVA glue and hold it with this masking tape. Uh, then I am going to paint it with some acrylic paint and uh, put these little uh, things on the bottom. I don't know how do you call these things. I guess legs, <laughs> buds, I don't know. Uh, put this uh, felt inside. I should have maybe cut it beforehand, but I'm gonna do it anyways. The lid is going to be covered with this thing. You remember this thing from the other video where I made custom dice box slash dice tray. It's a self-adhesive fake leather and it's gonna help me a lot on this build. So without further ado, let me just start off. Yeah, so this is the first stage that's been complete. <laughs> I've put some books on on the box to have some weight. And um, now I have to wait for it to dry and carry on with the painting and the rest of the assembly. All right, so I guess it's been like 30 minutes. And let me just see if this worked. <laughs> Here's to hoping that it did. Uh, this side is kind of funky, but I don't really mind because I'm gonna use this fake leather to cover this thing up. Oh my god, don't tell me. <laughs> oh, come on, open up. <laughs> okay, this is going to be funny. 
let's just try it with the back of the knife no <laughs> uh, all right let's try it out with something else <laughs> This is this is being really really funny. But all right. All right, I did it somehow. And now I just have to reassemble these parts that have gone crazy while trying to fit it together huh. this is gonna be really nasty I think I'm gonna have to sand it a little bit on the sides just for it to get just a little bit more narrow so I can fit the lid better. This is a really, really snug fit. I mean, see. All right. So, the next order of business. Paint it in black. Cover this one in... Um, fake leather, self-adhesive paper and uh, clean this up a little bit from the leftover PVA glue uh, and yeah, paint it I think that's, that's pretty much it so, another fast forward right now and let's just try and do this properly It's been painted, I just need to let it dry now, from both inside and outside. I realized that I can leave my logo here, like this, and it looks really nice. Um, what I'm gonna do is just take the felt, put it inside, and um, wrap this with the, the fake leather, and it will be done. I just need to check it out if after this painting, it still fits. Huh. Barely. Okay, I need to make some space here, not to leave it 
fully assembled because it's not gonna fit that way. Yeah, just these really, really thin coats of paint made a big difference when fitting the lid on top of the box itself. I'll let it dry just a little bit more, assemble it fully, see where it goes from there. Yes, this is it. I have assembled it, I have painted it. Nothing has gone wrong, almost nothing. I still need to seal it though, and I will do it with some acrylic like clear coat. That's gonna give it a final look. But basically, that's it. I just have these dice that I also made for him. And uh, yeah. They roll pretty well <laughs> in this tray. And they will be held. Huh? What? Huh, alright, almost. This D12 is a little bit bigger than uh, D D12, D20, I'm sorry. It's just a tad bigger than, than the usual ones. I wasn't expecting that. But it just fits. It's a snug fit. And once you cover it up, here, almost no sound. It will be a good addition to Dragonaka's table, and I'm really happy about it. And I'm gonna be sending it away very soon. Anyways, guys, I thank you for watching. This has been fun. And I will invite you to give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new to this channel. Also, go check out my Patreon page. You can get something like this, like Dragonaka's got. And yeah, this is Crafty. And I bid you farewell. <laughs>